Brazilian aircraft maker Embraer has secured a contract from the Hungarian government to deliver two KC-390 Millennium multi-mission aircraft to the Hungarian Air Force HUAF. Hungary and Embraer signed today a contract for the acquisition of two multi-mission transport aircraft Embraer C-390 Millennium, in its air-to-air -air refueling AAR, configuration, designated KC-390. Additionally, Pilots and technicians training as well as other services and support are included in the contract as part of the process to strengthen the Hungarian Defense Forces capabilities specifically on the tactical airlift, AAR and medical evacuation roles as well as in other missions of public interest. Deliveries are scheduled to start in 2023. Following the procurement of personnel air transport capabilities in 2018, we will see the arrival of KC-390 aircraft to Hungary in 2023-2024, able to deliver large military loads in an operational environment, as well as providing air-to-air -air refueling services. We are acquiring a multi-role transport fleet for the Hungarian Defense Forces to fulfill the widest possible range of tasks within the national framework, in a sovereign way, said Gaspar Marov, government commissioner responsible for defense development. Said Jackson Schneider, President and CEO of Embraer Defense and Security. Hungary is the second European nation and NATO operator to select the C-390 Millennium, a highly capable aircraft that offers excellent rapid reconfigurability for multi-mission operations. The KC-390 for the Hungarian Defense Forces will be the first in the world with the intensive care unit in its configuration, an essential feature to perform humanitarian missions. The aircraft fully meets the requirements of the Hungarian Defense Forces, being able to perform different types of military and civilian missions including humanitarian support, medical evacuation, search and rescue, cargo and troops transport, precision cargo drop, paratroopers operations and AAR. These KC-390 are fully NATO compatible, not only in terms of its hardware but also in its avionics and communications configuration. Furthermore, the KC-390 probe and drogue refueling system